众朋友，大家好，欢迎收看本期的最佳方案。提起运动拉伤或者是软骨损伤，可能喜欢运动的人呢都听说过。像大家熟悉的网球运动员纳达尔，中国的跨栏运动员刘翔，都曾经经历过运动拉伤后退赛的痛苦经历。不过今天给大家介绍呢，一名律师呢，好像要比那两位明星啊要幸运一些。虽然呢他在练习武术中呢脚后跟呢撕裂拉伤，但是在经历了山穷水尽的困境后，却在偶然中。找到了一个解决的办法。他叫安哲静，一名移民律师。怪武术他在练习中不幸脚后跟撕裂拉伤。What was happening was because of the pain over that six month period, and on on、um, one thing I was doing was compensating my movement to ease the pain. So my knee started kind of hurting too because I was moving in a certain weird way to basically not stretch the foot muscle without me realizing it. But I was doing that over and over and over again, and was getting worse. That and also I was putting way too much pressure on my right leg overall, again to compensate my injury. And doing that for year or two.、Um, I mean, people started. No, my friends were like, "Wait, what happened? <laughs> you know, are you crippled?" <laughs> I couldn't walk for a long distance, and that in Korea or anywhere, if you were to enjoy your life, I mean, that's just devastating. Wow, you know, I can't like do a city tour. You know, I have to be in the car all the time. 被伤痛折磨的他呢，开始到处寻找治疗的方案。Um, after going through another few years of acupuncture treatment, I mean, it really helped. The different doctor, <laughs> different person, and he was really good at it. So、um, I thought I was healing, and I was going back to the gym and doing other things. But then again, it wasn't really completely healing. I yeah, I went to see a number of doctors here and Korea, and. One doctor diagnosed that there was something wrong with my bone somewhere, so you got to actually surgically repair it.、And、I went to bigger, more, like bigger hospital. Said that's bogus. <laughs> Nothing wrong with my foot or joint, but it's the muscle tear probably. And doctor prescribed the ortho, ortho shoes, and also he said I need to stretch out, but then it's not going to heal completely. 据安杰静介绍呢，他几乎找遍了他认为能找到的所有的治疗方法，但医生的回答呢，却越来越让他感觉到有点绝望。他甚至认为啊，他这辈子都无法再练习武术或者运动了。但是一个偶然的机会呢，却改变了他的人生轨迹。他开始尝试另一种新型的治疗方法——肝细胞疗法。他飞到了纽约的法拉盛的现代通症治疗中心，开始接受治疗。Just running into different information, so I mean, it's not like it wasn't like me getting to know somebody who told me about this. But then, when you fly, you have magazines; they talk about these things, and also you do some. It's a very chance thing. I just like everybody else, we all browse for nothing, no apparent reason. But、um, what I was most impressed about was that、uh, every step. Was handled by Dr. Lee. It was a very straightforward process. Dr. Lee examined my foot by、um, actually hand examining everything. He touched it, and he kind of spotted out the part where I was feeling pain. And that was very actually、um, kind of fresh in a way because I know Eastern doctors do that. They feel things by their hand. They touch it, and, but the Western doctors generally. My perception was that they rely on、uh, devices, right? They don't really like examine a lot, to me at least. But then he was—he could already tell that you know, there was some serious injury, and there's a, probably a scratch or tear down、uh, on my foot, and and also subsequent injuries because of that. And I think we had a scan. Is that MRI or a scan? Can't scan or whatever. And he showed me parts where. He think his injury is, and he said it's still there. It's not gone. 
So I examined him, there was a severe tendinous area on the foot, and I look at on the ultrasound, I could see there is a tear of the tendon. So I marked there, and then we discussed about the risk benefit and what we do. And uh, he came to California for the stem cell, and uh, we, I explained to the, all the risk and the possible complications, the benefit, and then we proceed the proceed on the same day. Stem cell is a cell which can to change to another cell. Like uh, when the baby comes, baby has a one cell, it can be a nerve, it, one cell become a heart, one cell become a skeleton. It's like a stem cell can be changed to the cartridge, changed to the, the ligament, changed to the muscle. Stem cell can come from the bone marrow or fat. And once we process it, that's our own cell. So it can be have any side. If patient has any injury, or degeneration, that's the kind of patient we treat. After that, just pretty much the whole process of taking the fat out of my um, gut, and I think um, they made something out of it. I don't make certain, he made certain kinds of solution based on that, and I think also they took my blood out to mix it and some, something like that. So he basically brought um, sort of refined yeah. extracted the air something like that. Yeah, there's a that's there. something very technical that right. I cannot explain. Because if there is a tear. If there is a tear, we have to fix it. To fix it to the surgery, if it's not that big, it's not successful. And surgery itself, you have to cut open it and then go in and suture it, but still it's not perfect. But without cutting anything, just to put it in stem cell, and if it get healed by itself, that's the best one. So I think it's a better to do stem cell than surgery. After I think three months, between three months, third to a six months on, let's see, there are times when I was just thinking, Whoa, you know, I'm supposed to feel pain at this stage or at this thing, but it wasn't there. At the times, I mean, at the times it felt like it was healed completely, then at the times the pain would come back, so it's still on and off thing. But one thing I'm doing uh, for the last two months or so is I started running and walking. Well, I want to thank him first of all, yeah, because every time I run or walk, for working at a longer distance or doing something that I wasn't able to do. Um, I feel that, wow, you know, this is something happened to me and it's like a, you could say that it's a life-changing event in a way. And I, I'm just really happy that this happened. I was able to find a doctor who can do this. Who has a tissue damage? Who has a degeneration? Like, tissue damage is a young athlete. Or regular, regular people, uh, recently I gave a stem cell injection. She fell. And then knee joint, the cartridge was ripped off. So it's not a candidate for surgery. And if we don't do anything, she's going to have a very early arthritis. So I suggest a stem cell. So we give stem cell, and she went to the England. She got the admission to the Oxford University. That kind of injury, there's a tear, or meniscus tear, or knee cartridge tear, or a tendon tear, rotator cuff tear, any tear, that's the indication for stem cell. We can regenerate. And then when we get older, everybody has a degenerative arthritis. So all the cartridge is getting thinner and then thinner and then thinner. What's our option? Oh, to the surgery, take out everything, put it in all the steels. How about we just give an injection and regenerate the joint cartridge? 
I think that's the best way. We have uh, many patients who have uh, fluid in the joint because of the, all the cartridge is gone and the water is keep coming in from the bone marrow. Those patients, we give a stem cell, water is gone and they are happy. I think stem cell is the next generation of uh, medicine. Any medicine we treat the patient is just to get rid of pain, just to get the symptom better. If there is any problem, we just remove it. But to, to heal something is better to regenerate. And our human body always degenerates every day. After age 30, I think we, our body starts start to regen uh, degenerate means their regenerating power is getting smaller and smaller and smaller so our body getting degenerate and if we can push back uh, that's a benefit and instead of uh, cutting or removing it if we regenerate that's the best thing if we remove it you're going to keep less collapse but if we regenerate maybe it can build up so I think this region stem cell is the next, next generation of future, our future. In the past few years, the medical technology has been changing the world. Like the medical technology, the medical technology, the medical technology, and the medical technology. In many areas, the medical technology will always bring us new hopes. 客观地说呢，肝细胞疗法并不适用于所有的痛症，但是它可以给那些运动损伤、关节老化、磨损又久治不愈的人带来一些新的期待。正如李医生的话来说，属于新一代的医学。希望今天节目呢，能够对那些痛症患者有所帮助。好，感谢收看今天的节目，我们下期节目再见。